This is probably familiar to you. This is the basic um, rules of exponents. And so if you have x to the first, you just have a single x that's equal to itself. x squared is x times x. x to the third is x times x times x. And x to the fourth is x times x times x times x. And today we're going to discuss what is uh, x to the zero power and what is uh, x to a negative power. Well, notice that we're multiplying by an additional x every time here, so it makes sense to go in the opposite order from 4 to 3 to 2 to 1. We would have to divide by x every time to do the opposite of what we're doing. So to get from x to the fourth to x to the third, we divide by x. And to get from x to the third to x squared, x squared to x to the first. And in order to define what x to the zero is, we just continue on with this pattern. So we divide again by x. And what's x times x? It's 1. So that's the reason why x to the 0 power is 1. It's not 0, as sometimes people think it is. Um, the reason it's 1 is because any number divided by itself is going to be 1. So in this case, x to the 1 equals x, divided by x equals 1. And to define negative exponents, we just continue the same old process. Um, we divide by x again to get x to the minus 1. So when you divide 1 by x, you get 1 divided by x. And when you divide that by x, you're just going to have the whole thing divided by x again. So you're going to have x to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over x squared. And that this pattern allows us clearly to see our definition, um, which is going to be x to the negative n is equal to 1 over x to the n.